So a judgment has been reserved in the Constitutional Court of uh, whether political parties must systematically make the information around donations public. Civil organization My Vote Counts is seeking a declaratory order upholding a High Court judgment that such information must be made available. The High Court also found that the act used to access information, the PAIA, is unconstitutional as it doesn't obligate parties to record and disclose funding information. The job of the highest court in the land has been made a bit easier. Parliament has already drafted a bill that obligates parties to disclose private funding. But it only demands that amounts above 100,000 rand be disclosed. While my vote counts is not arguing on the validity of the bill, it says all amounts must be recorded and readily available even on party websites. Even the 100 rand that is donated by uh, Mr. Dlamini and the 150 rand that's donated by Mrs. Jones to whichever political parties. It's not a question of whether it's just a small amount. It's being able to understand the aggregated effect of that, to understand that there are sufficient numbers of donations and when they all add up in a particular way towards a certain party for a particular reason. The DA, which had previously opposed this application in the High Court, has set this hearing out, leaving only the Minister of Justice, who argues that there are limitations to access of private information. You've got to ask the question, what private, what right does a donor have to ask that their name be not associated with the political party that they've sponsored? And I can understand there will be those, those private donations that are suspect. However, council does concede that voters may need access to party funding information. Hence, parliament started the process of drafting a political party funding bill. Why can't they drop this uh, bill? Whoever sponsored it, just drop it. And uh, it doesn't become an act. When that happens, then there is no articulated obligation, no articulated constitutional obligation on parliament to pass legislation that regulates um, pri private funding. They can sit back, just as they have sat back for how many years now? 24 years since we became a constitutional democracy. The bill bars parties from accepting funding from foreign governments and banned entities. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News, Johannesburg.